And it's time to grab that popcorn because we're taking our weekly trip to the movies with this man. Yes, indeed. And you know, theaters are reopening now. There's movies mm -hmm. out there like we talked about Tenant last week. And if you're a big time movie fan, they spread you all out. You wear a mask and I think, I think they're in pretty good shape. So there's a lot of spots out there. Cedar Lee is uh, reopening now. So there's opportunities to go to the movies and there's opportunities if you don't want to go that some of these movies will show up online or on Amazon. Uh, or a lot of different ways. So we're going to take a look at a couple that are opening this weekend. I like them both. Check it out. <laughs> Welcome to the Broken Heart Gallery. Heartbreak is the loneliest feeling in the world, and the truth is, it happens to us all. A fresh perspective on dating and love is exactly what you get with the Broken Heart Gallery. He's with someone else now. How do you get over someone? What? Why are you getting into my car? What are you doing? Lift, silver Prius. Adolfo, I have had the worst night of my life. This isn't a lift. This is my car. Hello? I'm sorry. No, I'll cancel. You're not Adolfo? Who are you? My name is Nick. A film by okay. Natalie Krinsky okay. and produced by Thanks. Selena Gomez, this rom-com, which meets romantic comedy, is driven from the ladies' point of view. One. Rated a saucy PG-13, it is refreshingly clever. This map was here this morning? Yep. This is amazing. There are broken people out there like me, people who need to let go and move on. Is this the heartbreak thing? You're in the right place. Welcome. Are you ready to hand it over? It has an odor. Oh. We're in business, baby. Now here's the good news, Broken Hearts Gallery is in theaters this weekend, bring a mask. Now very important information here at the Cedar Lee only this weekend, all in the fight for democracy. And this is a documentary about voting rights. And I'll tell you, if you can't see it this weekend here at the Cedar Lee, guess what? You could see it on Amazon Prime starting September 18th. We've been in line for five hours. They said you've already voted. Looks like several days ago. No, I would have remembered that. Need a little tune-up as we approach November? This is it. States implement voter suppression laws all across the country. Things like new voter ID laws purging. You're knocked off the roll. Gerrymandering. Changing the voting boundaries. Ohio is a use it or lose it state. Stacked with many of the political the right stars of today, to all right in the fight for democracy is exactly that, a powerful look at the right to vote. We've got a lot of work to do. When we started as a country, 6% of people were eligible to vote. There are still forces that are determined to keep citizens from voting. Unless we fight for the right to vote, our democracy is put at risk. The fight over voting rights is ultimately about power. The states have figured out how to stop. African Americans, Hispanics, Asian Americans, the young and the poor from voting. History is never a straight line. It's always a fight. I will not concede because the erosion of our democracy is not right. to make history. All this power. The vote matters. All this power. You belong. You have value. There's see Stacey Abrams. She's won lost the governorship of, Al of uh, Georgia by just a few thousand votes. So that sort of instigated this whole thing. I tell you, it's really a fantastic thing to watch. It's amazing. And, uh, you know, they have an Oscar for documentaries every year. Uh, is I think, this, you think this could be up for one? I think it'll be nominated and I think it'll win. Wow. I mean, it's really good. It's, it's really good reporting and it's, it's terrific. And, and broken, the Broken Hearts movie. It looks cute too. Yeah, I love it. Gallery. it. Something serious, something yeah. more of a documentary style, and then something also that's lighthearted and just to yeah. take your mind off of everything going on in the world right now. It's rated PG-13 and there are some moments if you go with your, your kids and you're watching this movie that you might go, huh? It's like, it's, so even though it's PG-13, it might shock you a little bit. It's walking the line, oh, but, but okay. they're both very good. I enjoy both of the movies.